What's going on, guys? It's me, Don, from You Can Do It Gaming. How are y'all doing this wonderful evening? I'm certainly doing okay. <laughs> it's getting a little cooler these days. A little darker. A little gloomier. But... Hanging in there. I hope you guys are too. Um, well. I. Wanted to share some of my good time with y'all. I hope y'all find this a little fun and entertaining. I wanted to share. Some of the packs I got. And the events. That go along with it. Went ahead and got this pack to order pack. I find these to be some of the best ones because you get these glyph, you get these shards, you get these really good glyph sets. It's a chance to get them. And now it's a chance to get hero costume shards as well. And that's kind of, I think they may have had them in the last pack to order event. Not certain about that, but they do now. And there's some, there's also some other new things with the events too. That if you haven't saw already, you should stick around and I'll show you. Okay. So I waited to claim this for you guys. This after this, I'm going to only need 300 more Party Star Shards. And I'm going to get that pack tomorrow. So, please be on the lookout for that video too. Alright. Come back. Come back, y'all. You here? <laughs> I'll show you what I have planned for that set. That glyph set. Uh, that's a good question. Do you guys have a Party Star? star set already who did you put yours on I know people in my guild have multiple party star shard glyph sets and they have them on their whole starting defensive lineup that's insane right <laughs> this will be my first party star shard set and I want to know what you guys would do if you had a party star glyph set. Who would you put your glyph set on? That's please, please leave me a nice little comment. Tell me who, okay? All right, here's some more stuff I get to claim. Some blessed light shards are always nice, huh? Uh, some pretty, you know, normal things going on here with that. Oh, sorry about the finger there, guys. It went over top of my camera there. Uh, let's get in, dig deeper into these events. Now, on the Imper Imperial Forge, um, I... What would you guys get? Would you guys get the 10,000 rings for 10,000 points? Or the 7,000 mutagens for 10,000 points? Or would you go for... Uh, these coral experience eggs? Or perhaps some of these uh, experience stone 4 times 200 um, I don't have enough for some of that stuff yet, but I will tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and save this event for tomorrow. But I would like to know what you guys would pick. Um, another thing. That, just one more thing. Give you guys a chance to interact. After all, that's what I would like. <laughs> Let's go ahead and bust these smashers out real quick on the bunny's bounty. 
You know, I saw a... Unless it was photoshopped anyway. There's 3,000 rings. I saw a guild mate of mine get 20,000 ancient spirit shards. Do you think it was photoshopped? I still don't know. That's still one of the lingering questions I have. Albeit one of many lingering questions I have about Clash of Lords 2, right? <laughs> so, anyways, to, get, to keep this going on along at a decent uh, it's not letting me do anything on that. Okay. Oh, okay. It's because of earlier. I had one from yesterday because I uh, did an event yesterday. Black hole, black hole, black hole. Go away a different day. Come around some other day. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Just having fun, you know. Just having fun. Sharing some good times. You know. Sharing them good times. Treasure Vault. I'll show you what I picked in Treasure Vault. Already. And that was. Chrono Keeper. Memento. What? Say what? Well, that's one of the things I wanted to show you guys. It's new. As far as I know, it's new anyway. Uh, I think this is the first time they offered them. And it is under the Evolution tab. Under Treasure Vault. All Everything looks the same besides, I think, the Ravager Mementos looks new, possibly. The Chrono Keeper Mementos are... Definitely new. I think. <laughs> if not, it, this is the, only, the, sec, the, uh, the second time they've only... It's only the second time they offered them. And the Tidal Guardian mementos may be new too. I'm not exactly sure. But the big one there, you know, would be the Chrono Keeper. Because... Uh, I don't see any other new ones, but that was the new one. I was going to get some ancient spirits and stuff, but I decided to save this event till to, you know, the rest of my points there until tomorrow as well to see if I can get more mementos. You know, how hard those mementos are. That's what I wanted to tell you guys about Imperial Forge. You see how they're uh, offering... Uh, a thousand mementos for uh, Chaos Ember there. Well, they usually offer uh, Zafan's mementos. And the last time I did this, I had like 11,900 if it was 12,000 anyways, I was like a, a hundred shy. So if it was 12,000, I had like 11,900. And I, it, you know, I had even more of a 97 point. No, I think I only had like a 95% chance. So, um, but I failed. So that's like a one out of 20 chance and I failed. It tore me up, guys. Uh, so I was like, I swore I wasn't going to buy a single more thing. I was like a hundred gems off, right? You know, from being able to, to forge it 100%. <sighs> oh, that burned me good, guys. That's just terrible right there, though, you know? That's terrible. Like... I'm glad that's long gone and over with. Because it still kind of stings after bringing it up. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah. I miss those men. There's, like, all, I I think about that all the time when I see them offering, like, 
200 mementos here or there or something, you know, Zafan mementos through packs or, or just whatever, it still burns me, like, every time I'm just like, Rrr! like, you son of a, like, there's no way I'm buying that now after you ripped me off, you know. Technically, they didn't rip me off, but come on. I should, you know, that should have forged with that big of a percentage of, <laughs> of a chance, right? A good thing is, is, and that's a thing to look at when you're, when you're buying. A lot of times I'll make sure that, like when the events are two days long, like on the 26th and 27th, like this one is. Uh, well, I didn't this time, obviously, but a lot of times, you know, if you go down the list of events and make sure like all the other events are 26th and 27th, you know, you may as well wait till the next day to buy, right? Because they might add an event, you know, as long as you're not losing any events too. And that happens quite a bit. Trust me, I know, because I've I've taken really good track of all the events before. Even the ones that only come around uh, randomly and not very often. Uh, I still have that uh, that list of them, too. Not that I'm the, you know... I'm not saying I'm the biggest expert at it or anything by any means. Everyone has their own opinions too, you know, so. Uh, I would like to think that I put together a pretty decent account for a lot less money than what I think other people may have spent for, a, for an account around the same caliber. You know, um, oh yeah, that's why I, I was trying to remember why I wanted, needed 300 more gems, and it's because I want to get that anniversary gift bag right there of, uh, of these. If you see my earlier some of my other videos, you know that I'm, I'm after, uh, uh, a stoic defender. So we definitely beat Egg Monster number one this week. I know there's been a lot of confusion about that going around. Uh, did you guys notice that? I know people in my guild were complaining about not getting the ancient spirit on Tuesday, you know, and that's where that's where that ancient spirit comes from. Is this from is from this egg monster event? So that's the reason why we get it. If whether or not this egg monster number one gets defeated, and as you can see, his health bar underneath there has been depleted this time. So we will definitely, or at least we should definitely get it. Get one. Tomorrow, so I had looked last week, and he still had a little bit of HP left. So I wasn't certain if he was defeated or not. I was trying to find out, but everyone I asked, I didn't ever get an answer from anybody. Sadly, <clears throat> man, that's another big reason why. I wanted to pick up some YouTubing on this game is to help communication. Not that the other YouTubers aren't doing already doing a fantastic, wonderful job because they are. And in fact, I suggest uh, joining Komars and o Oopsters, uh, both of theirs, uh, Discord. Uh, especially Komars is usually really active. Nothing against Opsters, but it seems as of at this moment in time, everyone 
seems to convene under Komar's Discord. People are always talking and typing, whatever you want to call it. And it's very active. It's kind of it's kind of nice, you know. A lot of people get a lot of help there. People are always asking questions and actually getting answers. So, you know, the YouTubers for this game have done very well, uh, to say the least. You know, especially without any uh, IGG support. You know. Um, other IGG games, you know, uh, they all have their paid YouTubers, like Castle Clash has JT, is all business, and they also picked up that new guy, my mind's going blank on what his name is right now, sorry, uh, that looks like it's going to be it with uh, events. If I missed any, I'll pick it up tomorrow, okay, guys? Uh, exchange points. Buy jewels. I can claim these. The genie. Ancient spirits. Some more of these. Uh, what are those called again? Does it say? You click on it. Anyway, I'm about to find out. I, I know what they're called, guys. Just give me a minute, though. Stone, stones, right? Some kind of... That's the other thing I wanted to do with you guys real quick is the... After I... They have this little event, too. The Jewel Jams. Jewels Jam? Like, the daily. If you buy 2,500 gems daily, you get... You gotta do it consecutively. So if you miss a day, you go back to day one. But yeah, you get to, I get to collect this today. And if I buy tomorrow, like I plan on it, I'll be able to collect that. And then if the next day I did, I'd be able to collect that and so on and so forth. But if you miss a day, you go back to day one. So that's how that, you know, I might as well just throw that in there for, you know, for those that might actually get to learn something from one of my videos that would be awesome <laughs> uh, okay what okay yeah we'll go right to that you know someone was just talking about it a second ago garrison stones yeah you are used to upgrade the town hall and all defenses by using the defense ministry well that's what I'm about to do even though I completed this speed up uh or this not speed up but upgrade building event um gotta make some room for this guy guy real quick Which I'll might as well show you. Uh, there's an upgrade building going on. Upgrade buildings to get points going on. And you 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 get three tier prizes here. You get that at 12,000 points. You get souls times 50,000. At 24,000 points, you get rings times 500. And speed scroll one hour times 30. And at 48,000. You get jewels times 500 and mutagen times 100. Not too bad. I thought we used to get a thousand gen jewels. Maybe not. I can't say that for certain. I want to have the, you know, now that I'm a Clash of Lords 2 YouTuber, I will, I'm going to start taking, keeping much better track now though, okay? Just to let you guys know. I will not fail you. I will not let you down again. No. You shall not pass. <laughs> so. Anyway. That's a pretty new town hall. Right guys? Right? Right? Got some purples. And 
yellows and stuff going on in there. Uh, let's look at the building now. I suggest you guys go check out Comar's. Uh, video on the defense ministry. I'm sure I'll eventually do one too. Uh, okay. That's reinforcement, right? Those are reinforcement quarters, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. And these are the, uh, well, you know, the, I'm not going to get into all of this. I only, I can't do anything anyway. Man, that's pretty expensive considering I collected garrison stones twice out of two different events. And it didn't even give me enough for one upgrade. Oh, come on, IGG. Well. Let's band together, guys. Don't do extra. Don't buy extra events for these garrison stones, okay? I know some of you guys won't be able to re resist, but you know, like, like what I just did, I had an option of buying 500 of them, and I was telling myself, no, will not show IGG. That we're willing to pay for this new resource. Gosh darn it. <laughs> we got enough stuff as it is. They keep on adding more and more as it is. I thought it was a lot when we had to enlighten every hero up to level 25. How about you? Then they added 10 more levels to that. And then when they did that, what else did they do? I'll show you what else they did. They added Hero Masteries too. Holy crap. Man, I need to do some more Storm Riders, huh? <laughs> I don't use him in my attack defense, or my, my attack defense, my attack uh, formation anymore, so that's why. Oh, and that, you know what? That brings us to the last thing I wanted to share with you guys. Today, because you saw those mementos I got earlier. Well, there was a reason why I brought those up. Or I mentioned those. And that's because, ooh, this is a good one right here. Decreases damage of nearby enemy range heroes by 40%. Hmm. I wish I knew what nearby means. You know, but for the cost, look at that 3,500, 3,500 Chrono Keeper shards, 2,400 mementos, 40,000 ancient spirit shards, 12,000 mutagen, and 20,000 rings. So, you know, that shouldn't be nearby enemy ranged heroes, that should be. All enemy range heroes, if you ask me. How about you guys? That's awful expensive. Especially with my attack style now. I, uh, you know, I don't go, and a lot of us don't go head on anymore. You know, the the popular attack style of sending Penticilla in, you know, the middle. I mean, going about it that way, but. Although times have changed since. Nightmare Morpho, I'm sure. I'm not sh sure if that's how the top players do it anymore. But anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and do this because if anything, it should help in Battle Square, right? Because they're pretty close together in Battle Square. So it might be better in certain game modes than others, right? Coliseum. Yeah, that just came to mind. <laughs> so there's, there's other. Um, this is the other thing. I'm going to unlock 300% HP. Yes, please. Let's take what you guys know. 3,727,220. 
Not bad. Keep that month. Keep that number in mind real quick. 3.72 3 million 727. All right. 3,727,002. Bet you it went over 4 million. Let's take a looky. 4.25 million 4,252,520 million Can I get a ooh ooh? <laughs> just having fun guys. I'm just trying to have some fun with you guys, right? I'm your boy, I'm your boy. <laughs> I'm your second or third favorite YouTuber. Oh wait, 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 wait. Guys, uh, I read in some comments a few days ago that there is no other good English-speaking Clash of Lords 2 YouTubers besides Komar and Monkey. That's what I read. I read a comment saying that. And it broke my heart. It did. It broke my little heart. <laughs> no. Um, you know what I say when about that kind of stuff? Well, I hope I can convince that person otherwise, you know? Because I'm 100% dedicated into this, guys. So, if you're watching me and you think I'm terrible, let's talk about it, you know? I'm a very open minded guy and I will try to do better. I certainly will. I have. You know, um, in my older years of life, I've, I think, you know, uh, I'm finally in those golden years of, of, uh, of being right where I want to be, you know, um, mind and body wise. <laughs> but, uh, oh yeah, what was the other thing? Someone told me not to show my face anymore too. That was today. <laughs> I think they might have just been in a bad mood because it was it was Monday, honestly. You know, it's like, don't show your face. You know, you don't you don't need to show your face. He said, he said all YouTubers. He said most of YouTubers don't show their face. I hate to disagree, but most YouTubers do show their face, just because. Just because most of the YouTubers you watch don't show their face doesn't mean that most YouTubers don't show their face because it's simply not true. Yes, they do. And, you know, uh, complain about why. You know, give me a reason instead of, you know, it, it just seems like a really cheap, pathetic shot at me. To like, you know, say I'm ugly or whatever. Or, you know, let's like, get your face off there or whatever. Now, tell me why. Am I blocking your view or something? Because, you know, I always put it in a place where, you know, it's not affecting anything that I'm talking about. Or, or you know. So, I think it was just a cheap shot. And it's all good, you know. But, you know, it and it, trust me guys, it doesn't bother me at all. It's just... You know, uh, these things are relevant. These are my subscribers talking to me, and I want to discuss them head on because I think whatever you guys want to talk about is important. Uh, and if you're coming at me with a, a genuine, you know, uh, concern or however you want to word it, I will listen to you, you know, and take it under consideration. You don't give me any reason at all to why some, why you want me to stop showing my face. That just makes it seem to me like you're just, you know, taking a cheap shot at me saying, tell me something that I don't already know, okay? <laughs> <clears throat> Shoot, I know I'm not uh, Brad Pitt, 
over here. <laughs> uh, in fact, if it wasn't for these cameras making me a look a little bit better as far as how uh, smooth my skin is and stuff, I probably wouldn't be on camera at all, to be honest. But uh, that's neither here nor there, you know, because what a face does to a video is, is it gives it a lot of personality, you know, and... You know, and I think that's one of my, I think, honestly, you know, you guys may disagree, but I think that's one of the biggest things I have to offer is my personality, you know, to be like a buddy type of YouTuber that wants to game with you, you know, like wants to discuss things. Um, it's certainly not for my looks or anything and nothing like that. And as far as like learning things off of me, I'm sure like newer, I could, I'm sure that I could teach a lot of newer players a lot of stuff, but as far, as far as like teaching veteran players, something they don't already know, I really doubt that I'm going to do that, you know, um. Uh, and I really wouldn't even want to insult anyone's intelligence either, you know. Uh, and I'll be the first one to say that there's plenty of better gamers out there than I am, you know. So that's where, that's where this face comes in. <laughs> I uh, don't want to win you guys over for teaching you anything or, or like, um, it would be nice, don't get me wrong. That's not the angle that works best for me, though, you see. Um, at least not right now. And, and the other thing is, is I already asked plenty of you guys plenty of different times if you would rather hear or if you would rather see my face or not. And most people have already told me that they would. So, and the other thing was, is about my voice, you know, whether or not I should play, like, Clash of Lords 2 music, or, or other music, or, or just, you know, anything other than my voice, and people said, you know, stick with your voice, too, so, I don't know, it's just relevant, because, you know, it's what you guys wrote to me, so, and I want you guys to know that I'm reading those comments and um, I will listen and read your comments. That's what I want you to know. I want you, That's what I want you to take away from this. Uh, although I won't, <laughs> I won't allow anyone to get to me or troll me. Trust me. <laughs> that's, you don't even want to waste your time on that with me. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a lot older than I look, and you'll see, I mean, if you're a younger troll anyway, you'll see when you get older that you just don't care about that kind of stuff anymore, man, you just, you know, you're just, you know what's important, and, you know, if someone tells you they don't like you or something, or they don't like something you're doing, like, yeah, I care because I'm trying to entertain and be your YouTuber for this game. But otherwise, am I going to let that affect me personally? No, I'm going to laugh in your face, dude. You know, so, you know, that's either that's neither here nor there. And I'm sure I've lost most of you guys by now anyway. And none of you probably are even... Um, listening anymore because it's, it's about a half an hour video now but anyhow you know I wanted to share some of my good time with you guys and I wanted to address some comments I hope that didn't bother you guys at all um, 
and on the same page, I hope that, you know, you don't, you guys don't want to write down comments that bother me either, right? I'm we're just trying to have fun together and, you know, be gaming buddies, you know, uh, I'm not, I don't think I'm anything special and, and in fact, I encourage, that's a big theme of mine as a YouTuber is to encourage you all out there to start YouTubing as well. So, I mean, you know, if that's what it comes down to, you know, because that's what I think it comes down to is that people may, well, you know what, that's a, that's for another day and another time. I won't get that deep into it. <laughs> okay. We'll leave it with a, with a smile and a, and a laugh. All right, guys. Anywho, toodaloo. About time. Yeah. Well, anywho, toodaloo. Please, 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 please consider liking and subscribing. Uh, you guys. I will always keep it real with you. 100. 100. It's always been a really good quality of mine. I'm a very, very honest person. Um. Uh, you know, I don't want any of your guys' money. I don't want anything like that. I don't want to be famous. I just want to, um, you know, I just want to have fun with other gamers and, and get in shape too. <laughs> so if you guys are looking to get in shape, you should get in shape with me. Because, you know, my whole family and I are getting shaped together. And there's a whole, there's so many people out there right now that this fitness trend is really getting big. Um, especially on Instagram and all that kind of stuff. And on YouTube, too. So, you know, uh, yeah, you know, take some breaks from your games. Take care of yourself. All right. Yeah. Yeah, man. Get up. And you'll enjoy these games even more when you're feeling better and, you know, you take a little break from it. And then once you get back into it, you'll be like, wow, like this is even better now. I feel better and, and all that good stuff. All right, guys. So I hope you guys can tell that I'm genuine and that I'm just trying to, you know, just trying to be cool and, and do this thing. Heck, the... Most I will ever want out of it is maybe like a thousand subscribers, you know, so I can stream, <laughs> which really makes no difference. I mean, really doesn't make much sense to me that I can stream on my Chromebook, a $200 Chromebook, which I might add is absolutely terrible. It lags and the audio is terrible and the video visual is terrible, <laughs> but, and, but I can't stream on a... $1,500 S20 Note or S20, um, Ultra, <laughs> but anyhow, I'm rambling again, my bad, you guys, uh, like I was saying earlier, please, please look me up again tomorrow, I'm going to do the second part of this, all right, okay, <laughs> to the loo, guys, to the loo, to, to the loo, to the loo. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. See ya. See you later. Nice to meet you.